that I find interesting though is that, that when you do that shift from the short run to the long run it also changes the emphasis on demand side versus supply side I mean that you know in the short run again when you listen to the popular press there's all this discussion well we don't have enough demand the reason incomes aren't doing very well there's just not enough demand yet when I hear you talking about why we're so much richer now than we were in the past demand changes for the same reason you said preference changes don't seem to play a big role it's really about the supply side from an economist point of view what what we're able to produce what we have the capability of producing right i think that's much more important in the u.s i don't think that the demand side matters for short-run fluctuations but not in the long run you know there may be other places might come into play a little bit is if you think about places where there are very have there's very heavy regulation of labor markets um, so in Europe for example that you know they have much more highly regulated labor markets and there's much less turnover in the labor market and in those in some European countries as you you probably know better than I do unemployment rates say for youth are extraordinarily high and they've been very high for a long, long time. Now, so in some sense, there's, you know, you think about like whole segments of those populations that they kind of never get a chance to get a first job. They're kind of regulated out of working. That's what I see is, you know, if you think about labor markets here, you know, a potential, you know, adverse effect of, you know, like a minimum wage that's too high, so high that, you know, a teenager can't get his first job. We've talked about the world in terms of trying to understand from an economic point of view the process of a country getting richer over time and whether they're able to grow rapidly or grow slowly. Can you then talk about how that same theory is related to differences across countries at a point in time? Does that same way of thinking about the world help us understand why some countries are richer today than other countries are? So. Mm -hmm the U.S. versus Korea, or U.S. versus China, or India versus Africa. How does, how does that same modeling approach that you've talked about for modeling a country over time help us understand differences across countries at a point in time? This accounting procedure that we talked about for looking at U.S. time series. So, you know, how does that work? Well, you line up all the years of U.S. data in a line and ask about growth from one year to the next. You can do exactly the same procedure across countries, just line up all the countries in the world from poorest to richest, and then ask the question as we move up this uh, ladder of countries, and you know, we, need, we need to measure physical and hopefully human capital in each of these countries. And we can do, you know, just mechanically do the same exercise and ask when we go, as we go from one country to the next, and we've ordered them so they keep getting richer, how much of the change in income across countries is due to higher physical capital in the richer country per person, better human capital on average in the richer, and how much is unexplained? mathematically exactly the same procedure. Okay. Um, and you get very much the same result, which is physical and human capital matter a lot, but there's a big part that's the res a residual, just you know, not accounted for by either physical or human capital. I wanna talk about a couple of things that come out of that. What does it say about the process by which a country can change its place in that line. Mm. That is, converge in some sense. Get up in that top group. <laughs> move up, move from the bottom to the top. And mm -hmm. then why do some countries seem successful at making that kind of transition and other countries not so successful? It seems to me one of the virtues of economics is that it should help you answer a whole bunch of questions with the same theory. And I think right. that's what we could try to do here as well. Mm -hmm.